Hey everyone, it's Red Common 13. We're back with another episode of Let's Play Soul Calibur. And today I decided we are going to play as our boy Astaroth here. Now, whenever I play this game, um, I feel like I explain a lot of it, but that's really just for people who maybe. Oh my god! I have no, uh, I have no room to educate anyone now. <laughs> um, as I was saying, it's kind of to educate people who maybe have not played the game for a while, maybe have never played it, you're done. And... For those who may not know, here with Astroth, he is a big, beefy boy. Um, yeah, I guess you can see that, you're not blind. Well, yeah, maybe you are, and you're just listening, I don't know. But uh, he is a ring-out monster, especially in this first game here. He's also a grappler kind of character. Like, he doesn't have as many in this game as he does in some of the later ones. But he has, he has a crap ton of grabs. So you'll probably see us doing doing a few of those. I kind of just got right into it there. I just, we're getting right into it. We're not messing around. Like an example, that little weird tornado move, and the later games, you can grab with that. That's actually a grab move. But with Astaroth, he's very good at ring outs because a lot of his moves, just the way they hit, they just cause ring outs. Even some of his like basic grabs, if you do them close to the edge, he will just literally throw them off. Well, maybe we'll see some later. But like that move there where you, you can you grab the opponent and you don't damage them. Well, you might. Let's, you do a little bit of damage, but you can reposition them directly behind you. Like if you are on the edge, you can just... Which places with him? He's actually a really cool character. And he only got better as the series went on. He was really good in 2. Which I do want to get back to playing Soul Calibur 2. It is my favorite in the series. But I don't want to, like, go all in on it and then we have no reason to go back to it, if that makes any sense. Bring out. So I'm trying to sprinkle in the first game here. Six. But maybe six will get better as we play it. Maybe we'll do story mode or something instead of just arcade mode where we get like nothing. See, look at that strategy. Bam! So we should have lost. <laughs> Lizard Man was giving us the business. That um, that low spin move is another one that got better with later games. Uh, in Soul Calibur 2, he's able to follow up with that with a vertical attack. This game was really good, but I I don't mean to keep talking about two when we're playing one, <laughs> but 
2 took everything that was great about this game and just perfected it. has a lot of these same voice lines in later games. That big boot's another one that gets turned into a throw in later games. If you hold it, and it becomes a throw. It's pretty cool. I'll eventually play two with Astro off and you'll see how much better he is. Now I look at him, he actually is kind of a Shao Kahn ripoff. He's got like the Shao Kahn pads, but he's got like the uh, Darth Revan uh, from Knights of the Old Republic face mask going on. Holy crap! Look at how much damage that did! Jeez. Edge Master was not playing around there. Destroyed us. Wow. Now oh, he's playing as Ivy. I just threw that out there. I should not reposition them like that. <laughs> not much of a reference of it there, but Maxi and Astroth have heat, you might say. Um, Astroth actually killed Maxi's pirate crew, so Maxi's been out for revenge after him for quite a while up to this point. But we're not letting him get revenge today, no way.
All right, so I said we weren't gonna let him get revenge today, but we did a little bit, just a little revenge, slight revenge. not falling for that at all. <laughs> if we could just hit him, that'd be great. I just realized I had the sound turned up on my TV as well, so hopefully none of that all filtered into the microphone. I like Astaroth, and he has a lot of good moves, but he is so slow. Ooh, come on, we should have ring out there. There we go. Get in perfect. Whoa, dude, chill. Mm. I 
went low, he went high. Right here. Oink. <laughs> A little excessive, but all right. <laughs> it wasn't a double perfect, but we got two perfects on Inferno for no reason. Um, all right. <laughs> Astroarch returned before the Grand Priest. Something or other. With Soul Edge in hand. Astroarch, you have done well. Now the power that surpasses the gods is mine. What are you doing? No, unhand me! Stop! Stop! Need more souls. Engulfed in crimson hellfire, the two figures eventually fade from view. What are, were Astaroth's true intentions? There is no way to know. How about a boy there? Um, is told to go get Soul Edge, gets it, says screw you to the dude that told him to do it, and then drags him to hell. What a game. The old name input here. Always got to do three different attacks. Do the three letters. There we go. Ugh. Alright, well, that's another one in the books. So, until next time, I'm Mercama13. Thanks for watching.